Rethinking the universe. Cracks in the cosmic clock. Music fades in slowly, evoking a sense of awe and wonder. Just a hundred years ago, our grasp of the universe was astonishingly primitive by today's standards. Back then, most astronomers truly believed that the entire cosmos all of creation was contained solely within the Milky Way galaxy. The idea that there could be anything beyond our own galactic neighborhood was unthinkable. But in the year 1928, a revolutionary moment in science occurred. Astronomer Edwin Hubble, through painstaking observation and measurement, shattered this narrow view of the universe. He revealed that the cosmos wasn't still or fixed it was actually expanding. Galaxies weren't stationary, they were moving away from each other, pushed by some unknown force. This discovery was nothing short of transformational. It redefined humanity's place in the cosmos and opened up entirely new frontiers of knowledge. Decades later, in 1997, the Hubble Space Telescope would build on that legacy. It delivered a stunning revelation. The expansion of the universe wasn't decelerating it was accelerating. This acceleration appeared to be driven by a strange, invisible force we now call dark energy. This dark energy, still not fully understood, changed everything. It led scientists to a new estimate for the age of the universe approximately 13.8 billion years. But the story doesn't end there. Fast forward to today, and the James Webb Space Telescope the most powerful astronomical instrument ever built has begun to challenge that accepted narrative. Its observations are casting doubt on the age of the universe as we know it, suggesting our cosmic timeline might be flawed or incomplete. One key piece of this cosmic puzzle lies in a star cluster deep within the Milky Way. Known as M92, this densely packed collection of stars is among the oldest objects ever observed. What's truly perplexing is its estimated age 13.8 billion years, with some models suggesting it could be even older. How is that possible? By definition, nothing should be older than the universe itself. Stars form after the Big Bang, not before it. And yet, M92 seems to challenge that logic entirely. To better understand its true age, astronomers used advanced computational models simulating over 20,000 synthetic star populations. The results were astonishing. The cluster's age was calculated to be right on the edge of the universe's supposed beginning. This raised a haunting question. Have we been wrong about the universe's age all along? Then, the James Webb Telescope took things further. Peering into the most distant regions of space, Webb spotted galaxies that existed just 300 million years after the Big Bang. But there's a major problem. These galaxies appeared far too large, too developed, too complex for such an early time in cosmic history. By all current theories, galaxies of that size should have taken billions of years to form. So what's going on? Could the universe be significantly older than we believe? This brings us to a bold and controversial new hypothesis. What if the universe isn't 13.8 billion years old? What if it's actually 26.7 billion years old? This radically different estimate stems from a new theory that suggests our understanding of cosmic expansion, galaxy formation, and star evolution is fundamentally flawed. It's a th the mystery deepens, time, stars, and the multiverse expanded version, the James Webb Space Telescope hasn't just expanded our view of the cosmos, it has thrown open doors to mysteries we never imagined, and challenged the very core of modern science. Consider the ancient and enigmatic Methuselah star, officially named HD 140283. It's estimated to be around 14.5 billion years old, nearly a billion years older than the universe itself, at least according to our current models. This isn't just a scientific anomaly, it's a paradox that threatens to unravel our cosmic timeline. Stars, by the laws we understand, don't predate the universe. They form, evolve, and die based on the age of the cosmos and their internal physics. But the Methuselah star seems to exist outside of these rules, aging slowly, burning longer. It defies everything we thought we knew about stellar evolution. This puzzling phenomenon is just one piece of a larger mystery. At the heart of our understanding of cosmic expansion lies a number called the Hubble constant. It measures how fast the universe is stretching outward. 
But there's a troubling inconsistency. Observations of the early universe, such as the cosmic microwave background, suggest a rate of 68 kilometers per second per megaparsec, while newer measurements of nearby stars and galaxies push that number closer to 73. This disagreement is known as the Hubble tension, and it's more than a math problem, it's a sign that something essential is missing in our cosmic models. And what if that missing element is dark energy itself? Once thought to be a constant force, dark energy may actually be evolving over time. If that's true, then the entire rate of cosmic expansion could be changing altering how galaxies form, and even how we estimate the age of the universe. Which brings us to a radical reconsideration. What if the Big Bang wasn't the singular beginning? An ancient idea now resurfacing is the theory of a cyclic universe. In this view, the cosmos doesn't start and end it breathes, through eternal cycles of expansion and contraction. Big bangs followed by big crunches, again and again. Could the mature galaxies observed by Webb be the faint echoes of a previous cosmic cycle? Then there are the primordial black holes, massive, dense objects that may have formed mere moments after the Big Bang. Some scientists propose that they acted as gravitational anchors, accelerating the birth of galaxies far earlier than our current models allow. But if that's true, it raises even more profound questions what other secrets are hidden in the early darkness of the cosmos. And perhaps the most audacious idea of all, the multiverse. What if our universe is just one among many? A single thread in a vast cosmic tapestry of parallel realities each with its own laws of physics, unique histories, and lifespans. If these universes intersect or influence each other, it might explain why we observe galaxies that seem too old, too massive, too evolved. Could the James Webb Space Telescope be giving us our first glimpse beyond the veil? Is it possible that we are seeing the imprints of other universes bleeding into our own? The implications are staggering and mind-expanding. And the mystery goes even deeper into the strange and unpredictable world of quantum physics. At the smallest scales, where space and time twist into uncertainty, some theories suggest the early universe experienced fluctuations powerful enough to birth galaxies or even alter the flow of time itself. In the warped space around black holes, time dilates and stretches. In the quantum realm of the Big Bang, Time may not have flowed at all. It may have blinked in and out of existence restarting, shifting, transforming. Every discovery made by the James Webb Telescope pushes us closer to the edge of comprehension. It's as if reality itself is daring us to understand something greater than we've ever known. So what if the universe isn't 13.8 billion years old? What if it's 26.7 billion, or even eternally cycling with no true beginning? What if our universe is just one fleeting moment in a vast multiversal epic, and we're only now beginning to turn the first page? One thing is absolutely certain. The James Webb Space Telescope is more than an instrument of observation. It is a time traveler, a cosmic storyteller, and perhaps the most important tool we have in our quest to unlock the secrets of existence. With every image it sends back, it challenges us to think deeper, to dream bigger, and to embrace the unknown. So tell us what do you believe? Are we standing at the brink of a cosmic revolution? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to like, 